In this tutorial, we will be taking a closer look at the Places menu located in the upper half on the menu bar of the GNOME Desktop Environment. The GNOME Desktop Environment, which is the, uh, the, the default desktop environment in Ubuntu Linux, contains a menu bar in the upper half of the screen. Now in this menu bar are three menus and some additional icons. The three menus are Applications, Places, and System. There are also some shortcuts and icons to other applications, as well as an update manager, an icon for the sound, a clock and calendar, and a logout button. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a closer look at the Places menu. Now, the Places menu is a menu that is intended to provide an easy access to different folders and other locations, other other places that one may want to go on the system. It is not a menu for applications, and it is not a menu for uh, system configuration tools. It's just a shortcut to places, to, to locations on the system. For example, the first item in the menu says Home Folder, and if one were to select this, it would open up the Nautilus File Manager which is the default file manager in Ubuntu Linux, it would open up the Nautilus file manager in the home menu of the user currently using the system. As you can see now, the Nautilus file manager has opened up in the home folder uh, of Joe, which is the user currently using this system. The Places menu also contains a shortcut to the desktop itself, which is what we have open already. Uh, the desktop is really a folder in uh, the file manager, but it's represented on the main screen. Uh, it's, it's opened by default, if you will. But if one had many windows open or was sort of deep in the level of the system and, and couldn't find an easy way to get back to the desktop, Clicking on desktop in places is a very easy way to get back and opening up the desktop folder that represents the main desktop. Now the next location in the places menu is one that's entitled computer. Now the computer uh, places is sort of similar to my computer on Windows. It uh, is, a, is a location, it opens up again the Nautilus file manager that is used throughout the system and it, and it shows icons representing the various drives and other things that are connected to the system. For example, as you can see, floppy drives, uh, CD-ROM drives, and it also contains an icon for the main file system. Uh, the main file system is the subject of another tutorial, but it's basically a, it's a listing of the entire uh, tree of the of the entire file system, not just the home folder, which is where we are most of the time. One can also get back to the computer where we just were by clicking on the computer icon in the Nautilus desktop uh, file manager uh, icon bar. If one were to plug in a USB drive or USB stick or perhaps a digital camera or some other similar device, it would appear here in the computer uh, location under Places. Some of those drives should also mount and create an icon on the desktop, but if for some reason it did not, if one were to uh, uh, stick a USB stick into the computer and no icon were to appear, uh, the first place that I would want to go would be Places and then computer, uh, because uh, those those types of drives and cameras and other things would uh, magically appear as new icons in this section. 